Um, so today I want to show you a process of uh, adding fractions uh, by finding the least common denominator using a process called prime factorization. So um, the way it works is that you want to first break down um, each of the denominators um, into its prime factors until you reach the prime factors. Um, so, sorry, give me one second. Uh, so, so for instance, 36 can be broken down into 9 and 4, and then 9 and 4 can further be broken down into 3 and 3, and 4 can be further broken down into 2 and 2. Sorry about the lines. Uh, okay, so now we have basically the prime factors of 36. Um, so 3 is a prime factor, 3 is a prime factor, 2 and 2 are obviously prime factors. Uh, if you don't know what a prime number is or a prime factor is, um, I will post another video about it, but briefly it's basically a number, um, a number that can, that can only be, mod that only has the factors 1 and itself, so 3. So the only two numbers that can multiply to give you 3 are 1 and 3. Uh, no other numbers. Uh, same thing for 2. So those those are what uh, prime numbers are. Um, so we do the same thing for uh, uh, 120. So that can be broken down into 10 and 12. 10 can be broken down into 5 and 2. And 12 can be broken down into 4 and uh, 4 and 3. And 4 obviously can be broken down into 2 and 2. Uh, so, what you want to do now, um, you want to you want to um, uh, find the least. So let me let me just show you. Um, so this three times three can be written as three squared. Um, two times two can be written as. Uh, so let me just put a. You know, want to put a multiplication there. So this can be written as two squared because it's two times two. Um, and then obviously here we have. 2 squared as well because it's 2, 2, that can be 2 squared um, and then we just have 3 and then we have, um, uh, so actually we do have another 2 here so so that would be 2 times 2 times 2 so it's actually be 2 to the third okay and then we have 5 so for 36 we have 3 squared times 2 squared right because it was 3, 3, 2, 2 um, so for 120, when we broke it down completely, um, we had 5 over here. Um, so we have 5, and then we have uh, 3 2s, so 2 cubed um, over here. Uh, and then we have uh, just a 3. So to find the least common denominator uh, to this, um, you want to take um, you want to take the the lowest sorry the highest power of each, right? So for instance, three squared, and then we have here just three. So three squared, we're gonna take that because it has the highest power of that particular prime. So we'll write that down here, three squared, and then we have two on both sides, but this one has the highest power. So two cubed, we're gonna take that. So we have two cubed. And then we have 5 only on either side, so we take that as well. Um, now since, so we basically used up everything. So we used the 3s, which were on both sides, but we took the highest power. And then we used 2 cubed, which was the highest power of 2, the prime 2. And then we had 5, which was the only one, we take that. Now if you multiply all of this, you're going to get uh, 360. So that is the least common denominator uh, for 36 and 120. Uh, so we can rewrite, um, we can just rewrite it down here. So 5 over 36 plus 7 over 120. Uh, so now obviously if we want uh, 360 for 5, we're going to have to multiply by 10. 
So we multiply both the, uh, the denominator and the numerator. So on this side we would have, so 5 times 10 would be 50. And so we have 360 as well. So 36 times 10 would be 360, which was our least common denominator. And then uh, for 120, to get to 360, we need to multiply by 3. Uh, so that would be 360, but we have to multiply by uh, 7 by 3 as well, 7 times 3 as well. So that would be 21. Um, so now if we add everything, it should be 71 over 360. Uh, so that would be the answer. So that's a process of using prime factorization to, uh, to find the least common denominator. Uh, it's a bit, uh, it's, it's somewhat complicated, but once you practice it, uh, it should be relatively easy. You just want to break down everything into its prime factors and then take the highest power, uh, a power of each, uh, of each of those primes and then multiply, every, multiply all of them together. Um, so you can rewatch this video if it was a bit confusing, and uh, I'm sure it'll be easy to, to remember. This was confusing for me in the past, but now it's pretty simple, and you can do this with any almost any problem. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, if you found it helpful, please uh, like the video uh, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting some more videos explaining other topics, uh, such as prime numbers. Um, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments.